Hello Stacy. Welcome to our office. Thank you. I have a few questions about thermography. First, what is breast thermography? That's a great question. Breast thermography is one of the earliest known methods of breast tissue health screening. It is also an approved adjunct screening method. Further, the examination itself uses sophisticated infrared cameras and computer systems to detect the heat given off of the surface of the skin. This heat is processed into a high-resolution picture that can be analyzed for signs of possible breast soft tissue health issues. And how does breast thermography do this? Breast thermography detects a process called neoangiogenesis, or new blood vessel formation. You see, as precancerous and cancerous cells grow and multiply they demand an increased blood supply to bring in nutrients and expel waste products. In order to do this the cells cause the growth of new blood vessels, which in turn causes increased heat that can be often detected with breast thermography. And are there any harmful side effects associated with the test? No. Breast thermography uses no radiation or other invasive procedures. The imaging system detects only heat given off the body. Is there, there any discomfort for the woman being examined? Absolutely not. The examination is completely comfortable since there is no contact with the breast at all. How is the procedure performed? First, the client is given pre-examination preparation instructions to refrain from certain things before the exam, such as sun exposure. Then once they arrive, the client fills out a breast health history form. Then the client is led to the imaging laboratory, where strict temperature controls are in place. The patient is derobed from the waist up and left to acclimate to the room temperature for 15 minutes. Then she is positioned in front of the IR camera where images are captured of the breasts from different angles. These strict protocols are in place to ensure that the images are of optimum quality. How does breast thermography differ from something like a mammogram? Thermography is as different from mammography as apples and oranges. Thermography is an examination of physiology. It measures functional changes in the breast tissue, such as increased blood flow caused by factors such as, to name a few, precancerous or cancer cells. And what does a mammogram look for? Mammography is an anatomical examination. It looks for structural changes such as the presence of an actual mass of cells. Each test is looking for completely different things. I think you can see that the two tests really shouldn't be compared. The procedures complement each other, they don't replace each other. And why is it important to look at these functional heat changes as opposed to simply looking for a mass on a mammogram. This is one of the most exciting aspects of thermography. Most cancers take 8 to 10 years to grow to the size of a dime. Breast cancer research has shown that if a mass could be caught during this early part of its growth phase, 95% cure rates would be possible. In the vast majority of cases, temperature changes are seen in breast tissue long before a lump or mass can be detected. There are now also blood marker tests, that may indicate the presence of cancer in several different areas in the body. How far in advance can breast thermography detect these temperature changes? Research has shown that, in many cases, these abnormal temperature changes are seen up to 10 years. Then are you saying that a woman who has abnormal heat changes on a breast thermogram could be at higher risk of future poor breast tissue health? Exactly. This is where thermography excels. One of breast thermography's greatest advantages over other screening methods is the ability to classify women at the greatest potential risk for future breast tissue health problems. You see, if we monitor these women carefully, we have the best chance of catching the breast tissue health issues at its smallest size, or even better yet, possibly catching a mass at a precancer state before it becomes malignant. Is there a standardized method of determining an individual woman's risk level? Yes there is. With each examination, the patient fills out a thorough history form. This form contains questions that have a certain point value, which are added to formulate a conventional risk index. This index places women into a low, moderate, or high risk category. What role do the breast thermography images play in determining a woman's risk level? The images are analyzed for abnormalities and the results are added to the risk index to complete the picture. Information gained from over 20 years of research has shown that, in the absence of any other positive tests, an abnormal breast thermogram carries with it a 22 times higher risk of future breast tissue health issues. That's amazing. 22 times higher. 
that's a significant increase. It is. Studies indicate that an abnormal breast thermogram is the highest known risk marker for the future development of breast tissue health issues. An abnormal thermogram is 10 times more significant than a family history of the disease. With the prospect of identifying women at higher risk for breast tissue health, what effect can breast thermography have on a woman's ability to take action against this disease? This is the bottom line question. Since one in eight women will get breast cancer in their lifetime, I feel that we must do everything we can to combat this condition. The risk for every woman is already too high. Studies have shown that when breast thermography is added to a woman's regular breast health care, over 95% of very early stage cancers will be detected. And what does that mean to a woman that has detected cancer this early? This translates, potentially, into a 95% early detection rate. Breast thermography is a very exciting technology, which brings a great deal of good news to women. When would you recommend screening to begin with breast thermography? We recommend an initial breast thermogram at age 20, with re-examinations about every three years up to age 30, and annually after that. In this way, we are able to provide screening for women at all ages. I heard that breast thermography used to be used a great deal then it stopped. Why did this occur? In the late 1970s, the first, very large-scale, long-term, breast cancer screening research study, called the Breast Cancer Detection and Demonstration Project, tested mammography, thermography, and physical examination of the breast. This is the study that will be quoted by physicians who say that thermography was proven to be inadequate for screening. However, all the study said was that thermography was not an improvement over mammography and that the procedure held promise and more research was needed. You can see the flaw here. Remember that the tests are completely different. The research was seriously flawed in many areas. The researchers were trying to use thermography like mammography to locate the mass in the breast, not the signs of pathology. Also, the equipment used was industrial IR cameras, which used IR detectors that were not tuned to the IR wavelength given off by humans. No imaging protocols were used, and many of the centers used mobile vans with doors open in the front and back, with high drafts, etc. No one was trained to interpret or take the images. It wasn't until the mid-1980s that a fully established reading protocol was in place. By the end of the study only 5% of the doctors had been given any training in thermography. Since this study, over 800 index medical studies have been performed, confirming breast thermography as the earliest detector of breast tissue health issues. It is unfortunate that some physicians still quote an outdated and seriously flawed 25-year-old study. Considering all these protocols and special equipment, one would think that special qualifications are necessary to perform this procedure. Absolutely. To take the images, a person needs to be trained and certified as a clinical thermographic technician. In order to read the images you need to be a licensed diagnostician, such as a medical doctor, doctor of osteopathy or a chiropractor or board certified clinical thermographer. Unfortunately, the public needs to be careful in this area. Unlike X-ray, infrared thermography poses no health risks and as such is not regulated. This allows anyone to purchase a system and use it. In order to protect your health, you need to have your images taken in a qualified center. The best place to start would be to look at the qualified centers link on our website. We know the FDI regulates mammography centers, are there any standards for thermography? Yes there are standards for thermography. The FDA cleared breast thermography for use in the diagnosis of breast pathology in 1982. And there are strict standards for both the system hardware used and the interpretation of the images. Again, this is why it is so important for patients to choose an imaging center with qualified personnel and equipment. Thank you for the fantastic information. I am ready to make a breast thermography appointment. Wonderful. Let's get started. Don't forget to visit our friends at breasttermographymidwest.com for specials and more information.